is cleared, but it looks like we're still seeing a little bit of traffic in certain spots. We're seeing a little pickup on the 55 southbound. However, it was on the 55 northbound at the 405. This is a video of what happened here, and you can see a couple lanes that are shut down there, at the two far right lanes as they are trying to put that fire out, and we have fire crews on scene as well. So a bit of a tough drive through that portion of Buena Park. They're expecting those lanes to be shut down until about 8.30 this morning, so that could be a tough commute for quite a little while still. We'll have another check in just a bit. John, Leslie, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Too bad at all here for SoCal in the last week or so. We still have her cool in some spots and mild in others, so certain parts of the IE were pretty mild. It's cool in Hemet, Temecula, Beaumont 62, Santa Clarita's weather and territory again tomorrow. We still have this low that's right off the coast of Pacific Northwest and this high that is to the east of us. Now it's going to shift west and as it does, we're going to continue to warm up. You can kind of make the difference out as we head into your Tuesday. And as that happens, our temperatures will get hot. Then past that, it's just one day and we start to cool off. It will still be hot for some spots Wednesday, but take a look at what happens with this trough and this low from the Pacific Northwest. It continues to drop down the West Coast and it will bring us to some pretty cool temperatures as we head into Thursday and Friday, considering for this time of year. So we're going to see a nice drop off Thursday and then even a little bit cooler as we head into Friday, where we're talking about the possibility of some 70s in the forecast by Friday. So that is going to be a and then Wednesday, we should be right under it. And then we start heading into the end of the week. We'll get down to about 85 degrees, some 80s out there on your Friday. We'll drop it down to 75 degrees Thursday, low 70s Friday. Overnight temperature is also getting pretty chilly with in the next few days between about 110 to 114. Tomorrow will be the hottest for most of us. Less than so we've got a little bit of a difference here from tomorrow to the end of the week, and it's a big difference. So it uh, should be closer to midday. It's going to start to get warm, but downtown LA just about 88 degrees today. 90 starting to get pretty warm for Inland OC, and then the Valley of an Inland Empire with some mid to upper 90s. The beach too. So tomorrow we're going to jump these temperatures up, and it's going to be pretty hot for some spots. We don't have any heat advisors or heat warnings that are in place. It does not last long because right after that we start to get into that cooler territory and then getting below average as we head into the end of the week. Les, I'll send it back to you. All right, Brianna, thank you very much. Um, it's newest edition. Keeps the men in check. Go yeah, for them. I want to know a little more information there. <laughs> uh, Pakistani activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai has revealed she's a Swifty. Surprise fans in Alabama with a free concert. 7 a.m. on our 24-7 streaming channel. Up. So, so far, for the most part, this Monday morning has been pretty light. We are seeing all the typical traffic on the 91 westbound. But this ABC 7 traffic down, but we're not seeing a backup. So they may be letting some cars through. Uh, just know that you could have some problems here until about 630 this morning. We'll have another check in just a little bit. Leslie, John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay, thanks for that information, Brianna.